In this tutorial, we'll look at how to track the value of your inventory, and even how to track the value of inventory in individual warehouses, including FBA warehouses. Knowing the value of your inventory is important for a number of reasons. These include tax purposes related to costs of goods sold, as well as insurance coverage. Credit limits and loans are often issued based on the value of inventory on hand. Before we can demonstrate general inventory valuation and per warehouse valuation, we need to review the different ways SellerCloud counts inventory and calculates product values. Inventory can be counted in the following three ways. Aggregate quantity, physical sellable available quantity, and physical aggregate quantity. Aggregate quantity is the quantity available for sale. This refers to inventory that is not yet needed to fill open orders. Physical sellable available quantity is the total amount of units in all sellable warehouses, even if they have been reserved for orders and are unavailable for sale. Physical aggregate quantity refers to the total amount of units across all warehouses, both sellable and unsellable, even if they have been reserved for orders and are unavailable for sale. The value of inventory is based on the cost of the product, not the product's selling price. However, there can be three costs to a product, the site cost, the average cost, and the PO last cost. The site cost is the value found in the site cost field on the product homepage. The PO last cost is the cost of the item on its most recent purchase order. The average cost is a calculated value that looks at the cost of the item on past purchase orders and averages it out. Item costs are explained more thoroughly in another video tutorial. Open the Manage Inventory page. Now do a general search to display all products in the grid. This search will include shadows as well, so you may want to filter the search by non-shadows so as to determine the value of actual physical products. The aggregate available quantity of each product will display in the grid in this column. Right above the grid on the left side is some product information, the row count, the total inventory, and the total value. The row count will sum the total number of SKUs in the search result. By default, the total inventory is the sum of the physical aggregate quantity column, or the number of actual units in all warehouses. Likewise, the total value will calculate the value of all units in all warehouses. By default, the value will be calculated based on the product's site cost. You can, however, change the default to display a different inventory calculation and value. On the Client Settings page, locate the setting Show Total Inventory in a Manage Inventory Grid using and select from the dropdown either the Aggregate Available Quantity, Physical Sellable Available Quantity, or Physical Aggregate Quantity. Likewise, you can use this client setting, Show Total Cost on Manage Inventory Using, to control the type of product costs used. You can choose between Site Cost, Average Cost, or the PO Last Cost. Now let's see how to get the value of inventory in a specific warehouse. Open the Advanced Search tab and select a particular warehouse from the Warehouse Filter. Then, enter an inventory quantity in the Inventory From and To fields. This is required because inventory of products are specific to warehouses. Press the Search button. On the grid, the warehouse selected will display. A new column called the Warehouse Physical Quantity will appear next to the warehouse name and will display the physical inventory in that warehouse. All the other inventory columns are not warehouse specific and should not be used as reference in a warehouse search. Above the grid, the row headers change to total units and total value, with columns for physical and reserved. The cell of total units physical is the sum total of the warehouse physical quantity of all products in the grid. Likewise, the total value physical is the sum total of the value of the physical units in that warehouse. The method of calculating the cost is controlled by the same client setting that was mentioned earlier. Show total cost on managed inventory using site cost, PO last cost, or average cost. 
The reserve column displays the quantity and value of items that are reserved for orders. To export a report of inventory valuation, click on the Total Units link. This will open a page that will list all products in this warehouse. You can use these filters to filter the warehouse by company or even by a specific SKU. The grid will display the physical, reserved, and available quantities, as well as the value of the physical and available inventory. The retail selling price is displayed in the last column. The totals at the bottom are the totals for all pages in the report. To export the report, open the Action menu and click Export to Excel. For more information on inventory evaluation, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.